So we decided to buy and build one of these polycarbonate tunnel greenhouses. This one comes from um, Belarus. I understand there's two different types, one from China and one from Belarus, and this one's from Belarus, which I'm told the metal is better. But here we are um, doing the initial groundworks for the for the greenhouse, and it, it it seems that if you, I think, spend, for us, 50% of the time preparing the ground and the other 50% just building the thing, um, that's probably good advice. Um, we made it slightly harder for ourselves because we were building on a slope but that's the way our field is and it's where we wanted to position the greenhouse. Everyone got involved, even Nora our daughter as you can see from the video and so the first job was just sort of take off the, the turf of the top which um, is grown over the field. This was a, a fully used field only up to a few years ago so most of it is, is sort of weed as opposed to, to turf grass. Well earned tea break there. Um, and then we bought a petrol um, tiller to help us to till over the um, spot. And um, it kind of took two, two goes to, to get the tilling right. Once to get the first top couple of inches and then once it sort of bitten into that you could go then go back over it and get a lot deeper and we went to about 12 18 inches down and um, tilled the soil to get all the air in and um, we also um, put a cover of um, peat over the top and that was all dug in as well to, to give the soil um, make the soil richer and better for growing in and here we are putting the the base frame in and you really need to spend the time getting this right. Um, that's tip number one, is, is get the base frame right, because if that's wrong, then all the rest will be wrong. Um, like I said, we made it a bit more difficult for ourselves because we were building on a slope, so um, we couldn't use a spirit level on um, the long lengths. We did across the top, but, of course. But So we used the um, taut string to make sure that it was all level. And then the feet, which you need to dig in, um, we used a high clay um, based sand which we can dig locally in our forest but um, do, do not concrete in the feet um, not initially anyway because you need some flexibility for it to move about when you're actually putting it together so um, tip number two is don't concrete the feet in to begin with but do put them on a solid base and the, the clay um, aggregate works really well actually of course then if at a later date you want to move it, if it's concreted in it makes it very difficult. There you can see the, the linear string. And here I'm just lining up the other side of the greenhouse and um, you can see the spirit levels out for the, for, the, for the end, the top end, which is the main doorway in. So it seemed that we were spent absolutely ages on the base, but um, it was worth it in the end. And here we are putting together the first few hoops, the main hoops. Not the greatest angle, I apologise for that, but you get the idea. And it was just uh, myself and Gita put this together, so just the two of us, um, minimum. I think if you had a team of people, it would be a lot quicker, but um, it's no problem. It was obviously learning all, all the way along. Um, once you put the, the, the straights in, it gives it a lot more rigidity, and you can see that it does move about a little bit um, until we finally tightened it all up. And the more you put in, the more strength it has, and the more rigidity. And, um, we decided um, not to use the window in the end. We left the window closed back up when we put the polycarbonate on. But um, first of all, you have to do the ends because the the bits that roll over in the middle um, overlap the ends. So you must do the ends first. And. Um, so you only get one go at this, so you don't want to cut it wrong. But you cut it exactly in the middle, halfway down, and then one half goes on one end and one half on the other. And um, according to the instructions, there's one way of doing it, but we decided to do it a different way um, because it made more sense. And it did work, and it worked really well. But the instructions came in Russian, so um, whilst Gita can speak Russian, I don't speak any, um, we still had to phone someone else to help us with the translation. Um, 
for it to make sense. So you can see that the, the polycarbonate is laid up horizontally here, which it, according to the instructions is not the right way, it should be done vertically, but it works really well. And even months later, when I'm now recording this, to put this video together, it's still absolutely fine. We've got no regrets in doing it the wrong way, as it were. But this one, we decided to do the right way. Um, but as you see, we had to cut the polycarbonate into two bits for the other window panel. So um, here, coming on to um, tip number three, which is the real learning um, process, is that we didn't realize the side panels um, go as deep as the legs. So you, you have, when you cut it out, you don't just cut out for the legs, you have to cut out for all the side bits as well. And you can see here, we're doing all the extra digging to make that work for the other panels. Um, it helps and it works as a barrier as well against um, grasses and weeds getting in underneath so um, it's a good thing really and you can see we overlap them um, downward so that the rain would run off um, when you get the polycarbonate one side is UV protected and you have to remember that get the final piece in and obviously now it's super rigid Put the polycarbonate on the readers and bring it together in terms of strength. I spent quite a lot of time in, in measuring out um, the distances between for, for the digging areas with a decent enough pathway. Months later, we're still really happy with that actually. We had a load of stuff that we had to get in quickly and we didn't plan well enough um, with regard to the tomato plants and the placings. Obviously the tallest part is in the middle and so that's where you want your indeterminate tomatoes so they can grow high. But um, we got some messed up with the sides as you can see here. If you want to see how we hung the strings for the tomatoes then it's on our Instagram channel and there's a link in the description below. Thanks for watching the video and please do subscribe to our channel for future videos.